Bounds. So don't contradict. The third is the law of equilibrium. There's no such a thing as mediocrity. Sometimes people would always settle to uh, being passive and being mediocre. But in the law of excluded middle, the law of excluded middle discourages us to be mediocre. You cannot say true or false or trolls. You cannot just simply say, well, can I choose only or? Or true or false. When it is true or false, you have to select between true and false. In the excluded middle, it's just simply either or. Everything must either be or not be, or everything is either or. Perhaps according to your feelings, even if you say that, Sir, wala mo kumagawa. I'd rather pre prefer to be called a man rather than a woman, or a woman rather than a man. Because my feelings say so. And that's who I am. But biologically speaking, you cannot twist the truth of the isness. You cannot twist the facticity of your life. That the moment you were born, you were born a man, or you were born male. And that's the truth that you cannot change. So that's basically the excluded middle. So you have to choose. Remember, in choosing, it's very difficult. Whether you like it or not, you really have to make choices in life. Like, for example, to attend or not to attend uh, the class tonight. That is your choosing. You have the, the freedom to do so. But you have to weigh down. In the context of morality between good and evil, good or evil, we know what is evil, we know what is good, we know what is bad, we know what is wrong, we know what is rightful, we know what is wrongful, we know what is correct, we know what is incorrect. But still, we always do the opposite of something that gives benefits to others or beneficial to us, or something that is good or valuable. So these are the three laws of thought. The first is, of course, the identity, the contradiction, and the excluded meaning. So under the contradiction, I'd like to go back to the contradiction. Let's say, for example, or in the excluded middle, when they must be in a sir, my feelings talaga, sir, is babae ako. You go back to identity. I respect you for what, for, for your feelings. Because that's what your, uh, what, what's your uh, opinion about it. And you have certain rights. No? You have some rights in so far as uh, carrying yourself in public. I don't care about it. So what do I care is, for as long as you do not, you do not deprive others of their rights, you do not, you do not uh, impose your own rights to other people, so that's okay. My rights end the moment the rights of others begin.